Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. In this short tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can create this Apple style info slide with animated panels. So let's jump straight into it. As usual, the first thing we'll do is go file, blank presentation, right click, layout, blank. We'll now set up the background so we can right click, format background, go to more colors, and for this, we're going to choose something that's very close to white, but it's just off white, which is actually 247, 247, 247. And you can see it's just off white. Now we can draw the first panel. So we'll go up to rectangle, rounded corners and click anywhere. If we go to more colors on this, I want the fill color of this to be 233 and no outline. And if I go to the size, I want this to be 8.13 by 8.13. And then if we grab this little yellow handle, we can take the amount of rounded corners down very slightly. That's looking pretty good. And now I'll put it into position and type my text. And now we can set up our text. I'll choose the correct font, the correct size, and I actually want the text in the middle to be 88. And I want the word key to be bold. We'll now set it to nearly black and the key part had a gradient. And to do that, you need to go into text options over here and make sure that you've selected text fill and outline and choose gradient fill. And I've selected a dark blue to an even darker blue. And that's just a standard linear gradient. And it gives that effect that Apple use in their presentations. Next, we can create the blue panel. So we'll click on this, hold down control and shift and drag, and that will create a copy that will be aligned. And for this one, I actually only want it to be 5.25 high. I want the text in the middle to be 60. And I just put in this example text. And I want the text color to be white because the panel itself, if I go to fill and gradient fill, I want to be light blue to dark blue, the same as the text up there. And I'm just going to make up to white and speakers white and then hold down shift and align it. So there's a couple. We're just going to draw one more quickly and then we'll paste in the others to save time and then get animating. So I'll click on the first one again, this time control D to duplicate and just drag it. And this one, I want to be 6.28 high by 15.52 wide. And this doesn't have any text on it, so I can select it all and click delete. I'll just center it up. And for the image, I went to insert. You can just go to icons. And then from there, you have Office 365. You can choose illustrations. And I typed keyboard and there it is. If you insert this, it will go straight in. And if you go to the colors and choose shape fill, you can select any color you like and it will just change the highlight single color in this illustration. So they're good things to use for that reason. Now I'm going to hold down control and shift to size this onto the panel. It's looking good. And then align it to the panel and then group it with control G. Great. I'm just going to quickly paste in the others. Now you know how you can create them to save time and then we'll start the animation. So here are the others and we'll just go full screen. That's looking great. So now let's add the animation. And to do this, we'll use the morph transition. So we'll make sure our slide selected and we'll press control D to duplicate the slide. And I'm going to select slide one and zoom back a bit. And you can do this 
by holding down control and using the mouse wheel. And I'm going to drag each one of these off so that it comes in with a nice smooth animation. And to do this, I'm just going to hold down shift while I click on them and drag them. And you can put these anywhere you want. But the further out they are, the slower or the later they'll come in. So it gives a nice staggered effect. So you'll see that I'm going to pull some of these down a bit further to give this a nice staggered effect as they come in. And each time I'm just clicking on it, holding down shift and dragging. Clicking on it, holding down shift and dragging. And for the one in the center, I want this to start off big and then zoom back. And to do that, we hold down Control and Shift and drag the corners until we have it at the size we want. So that looks good. And then finally, we go on Slide 2, click on Transitions and choose Morph. Great. We'll just see that full screen. Excellent. A really quick way of making an impactful and dynamic slide to show off information in the style of Apple. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you'd like to see more, hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.